So why don't you show me? This is a, a coffee table book on your iPad. Is that yeah, right? yeah, yeah. In a way, what we say is that we are reinventing you know, the coffee table book experience uh, on the iPad. It works as well on, uh, on the iPhone. But uh, what we have here, uh, you, you know, it's something that we have been doing with uh, UNESCO. It's about all the World Heritage uh, Sites, which are the most... Uh, uh, you know, known uh, touristic destination in the world, I, I would say, and uh, which are protecting lots of things like national parks in America or monuments all over the world. And the key for us is, uh, you know, we have uh, many, many pictures about it, very high quality pictures. And, uh, you know, we decided to make a book out of it so that it's uh, really an experience like uh, one of these uh, coffee table books uh, that uh, you can enjoy. And when we saw, when I saw the iPad, for me, it was clear, you know, this is the direction that we have to take. So how does it work? Show me. So in this book, we have uh, 20,000 pictures, and uh, today it's even more because it's uh, growing every day because the community is always bringing some uh, new pictures. We have like, uh, you know, 3,000 points of interest. And after that, you just uh, launch the application, and you just, uh, we just uh, get you right into it. So we start to show you, uh, you know, the best pictures of, uh, you know, these uh, world heritage sites around the world. Like here, for instance, it's uh, Palmyra in uh, Syria. Here it's uh, Cueva de las Manos in uh, Argentina. Here you recognize uh, Shreyam Bunat, one of my favorite places in the world. And then uh, here we are in Notre Dame in Paris. So we show you the best in a way. And uh, it's like when you go uh, page by page uh, in a book. The difference is that here there is no last page in this book. There is an infinite number of uh, pages. And now for each, if you look at the bottom, you have the, everything has been uh, properly uh, tagged by all the community. So at the bottom, you can see that, uh, you know, at the top, you see this is uh, Notre Dame that you really can recognize, but it's in Europe, Western Europe, in France, and uh, it's part of the World Heritage Site, which is called Paris Banks of the Seine, and now on the Ile de la Cité. But if you decide now that you want to focus uh, just on France, you know, you get uh, to France, and you get, uh, you know, now not the one from all over the world, but just the one from France. So you get uh, Mont Saint-Michel, you get uh, Parc de Versailles, and uh, you get here, it's uh, in Lyon or uh, Pont du Gard. And for each, if you want to get uh, some extra information, it's not uh, just picture, it's not just uh, beautiful, and these pictures are all beautiful. But it gets one level, level above, because for each, we can give you information. So this information, and uh, in a way we are doing mashup with lots of information, more and more over time, but uh, at the top you get uh, the information that is given by UNESCO. This is done in a partnership with uh, UNESCO. So we have the full information about uh, this World Heritage Site. And below, for each monument, we get additional information that is coming from uh, Wikipedia, and each of them is a link, and you can get to the right page. But even more, we, we try to give you all what is useful for you if, for instance, you decided to get there. And if you look uh, here, we have a TripAdvisor. So if you click on the, tri tri if you, you click on the TripAdvisor link, we get you immediately to the <coughs> you know, TripAdvisor page for uh, Pont du Gard, where you can find all the reviews and all what you are used to find in TripAdvisor, which is giving you excellent information. So we give you as well the ability to share these pictures. So this is, uh, you know, the social dimension for, for the moment. So you can share this picture, for instance, in uh, Facebook. Uh, so immediately you can uh, connect to Facebook, to Twitter, and, uh, you know, get uh, your message and uh, the picture itself and uh, the description uh, to share with your friends. You can also share it by email if you like. And now, since we have lots and lots of pictures, uh, you know, going one by one, like in a book, it's, uh, you know, some kind of uh, mesmerizing experience. And, you, uh, you know, you discover, discover more, and you never stop. It's really funny. I got it to many people to, to try it, and uh, they really get into it. But if, you know, you want to go faster and to some specific place uh, in France, for instance, you have this way to go through thumbnails. And here you get thumbnails. Here you recognize the Eiffel Tower, and immediately you can get to the Eiffel Tower. When you are on uh, this picture and you decide, I want to see more pictures on the Eiffel Tower, you use the tag at the bottom and you see a full collection of pictures of uh, the uh, Eiffel Tower, which is, uh, you know, kind of impressive. And the other thing is you, you might, at some point, you can say, okay, but uh, where it is? Because Eiffel Tower, maybe you, you know where it is, but in some other situation, you don't even know. So you can uh, just uh, click on the map and immediately we get you the map, uh, you know, here. So this is a... So the World Heritage Site in uh, Paris is just uh, Paris uh, Banks of the Seine, so it's just center of what is the World Heritage Site. 
and we give you, uh, you know, the ability to go to any single monument which is which has been, um, you know, recorded by UNESCO as, um, you know, one of, uh, you know, the key landmarks of uh, this place. So there are various bridges of, uh, in Paris. So here, you know, there is uh, Ecole Militaire, for instance. And you, you just get there, and you get a new set of pictures, uh, you know, which is uh, just focusing on this place. And once again, uh, I mean, the, the key, it's, uh, you know, the top quality. Everything has been curated by our people, so this is what, uh, what is making it so great. And if there is a place uh, that you like, you can uh, just uh, bookmark it, make a favorite. It's, uh, it becomes one of your favorite destination. And after that, you can go uh, back to this uh, favorite destination. So I will go back to, uh, for instance, another one that I really like in uh, Japan, with, uh, which is uh, Kinkakuji. And, uh, you know, it can take forever. So we give you information about uh, the authors, how to get all the pictures from the guy who did it. Uh, we, uh, you know, you, uh, this is, in a way, uh, a new uh, direction for, for books. Uh, I mean, the books on the iPad currently, many of them are just a PDF. Sometimes it's a little bit better than PDF. And here for photo books, we are giving a new direction. And this is just the first one in a, in a big sale. We launch uh, this one uh, today, but uh, there will be another one in uh, one month, and uh, then another one, then another one. So we have many of them in our plans. Well, if I go to this photo on Photopedia, there will be a, a link to this app, or how's that going to work? Uh, so uh, we, uh, the day we launch, uh, there will be a link to this app. Coming to September, uh, there will be uh, something that is that will be very similar to this this thing that will be available on the web as well. So we shall all what we are doing for for creating these books in terms of Photopedia, which in a way is trying to aggregate the information uh, on a specific subject. Uh, you know, will be available. Uh, you know, both on uh, iPad, iPhone. iPhone is also available uh, today. And uh, something similar, not as good, because it's not like the iPad, something that you are using on, on your couch, but it will be available on the web as well. So it's a totally different, uh, um, you know, way of uh, looking at the photo information. And this is something that, you know, people like uh, the people from uh, Flipboard or Coolieris uh, with uh, their Discover product recently understood very well. This is a new trend. I mean, now the information is really scattered all over the place. So uh, with the iPad, what people are doing is, try, uh, is to try to get you know, this information to just one place, which looks like a magazine or which looks like a book, uh, and which is much, uh, uh, you know, for consumer, it's much easier to, uh, to grasp. Why is this better than going to Photopedia and looking at a collection? Because in, in Photopedia, you will get to a place. So you can go, for instance, to this place in uh, Photopedia, Kyomizu Dera, and uh, you can find the same pictures. But after that, the question is, uh, you, you know, it's uh, all uh, these things are not aggregated. And uh, you have nothing about, you can go to a, uh, to a one page, which is called the uh, World Heritage Sites, but you will see only uh, uh, pictures from World Heritage, Site, uh, World Heritage Site all around the world. But you will not have this uh, navigation that is uh, aggregating everything in, in one book. And if your interest is World Heritage Site, it's, there will be one book about uh, World Heritage Site. And the next book that we are doing that will be available in one month will be about uh, US uh, national parks, for instance. Mm -hmm. So we will have the same, you know, entirely focused on the US national parks, which will become the biggest book ever, you know, on the US national right. parks. But and if this is a better experience, why not create that navigation on the web as well? What's stopping you? We will do it on, on the web as well. But we decide, uh, you know, it's when I got the iPad, I said you we have, have to, to do it on the iPad because on, on the iPad, you know, the big difference is on, on the web. When I'm on the web, I'm sitting on, in front of a computer and I am working. So, you know, going from page to page, like uh, in uh, Wikipedia, this is what we have in Photopedia, you know, it's the experience you are used to. But when you come on your couch and, you know, you change position, and this is totally different. You are not uh, clicking anymore. You are not typing anymore. You are not searching anymore. You just want to use your fingers and uh, you know go, go from pictures to pictures and just click here or there, and uh, you know stay in uh, the same en environment, which is like a book or magazine or this stuff. And uh, th this is the perfect device for that. There is no question about it. And the iPhone four, 
because it's uh, so fast and uh, the screen quality is so good. I mean, it's uh, also perfect. 